So the previous step, going through the document and marking the entries, that's the most time consuming part of building an index. You gotta go through your document, you gotta mark the high traffic keywords that you want users to be able to find within your index. Now that you've got that done, let's go down to the bottom of the document. This is typically, typically where an index shows up. I mean, you go grab a textbook, right, from school or from the library, you flip to the back of the book, you find the index. So I'm on the last page. Next step, go to my references, go into index, and I'm gonna insert the index. Now this window should look familiar. We've talked about a few features in here. We saw table of contents and table of figures. Well, right next door, you got your index, got your preview. You can tell it to indent it. You can run them in. You can say they're just gonna be right next door to each other. You can say it's gonna be two columns or one or multiple columns, whatever it's gonna be. And I'm gonna right align the page numbers if there's space. I've got a tab leader for those numbers. That's those little, little dot, dot, dots that we got there. And my format's gonna be based on the template, whatever the document's template is. I'll hit okay. And there's my index. So remember that the first step, that's the most time consuming part, but building the actual index, done. Look at that, I got my design, it's on page one, two, and three. The single picture, bold, number one. Got video, it's still bold, I left that checked for the bold numbers, but it's built the index for me, all based on the entries that I marked within the document. It's that simple. There's your index. Now, the index did turn on some extra markings and the page breaks and the paragraph markers and so on. It's not really something you're gonna keep around inside the document, or perhaps. So I'll go to home and I'll turn off the show hide formatting characters. Get rid of that. That way I'm not getting that extra clutter. The little XE and the design or, or, or video or whatever the keyword was, those go away. You don't wanna keep those. It's the index that the users are gonna rely on to find those keywords. So try that out. References, insert index. Make sure you place your cursor bottom of the document, insert the index, pick your style, turn on your options that you want, got your index.